Hello, I'm Nova, and welcome to Pokemon Sword, the Crown Tundra. I've been standing here this whole time for so long that my hair grew out. <laughs> uh, before we pull the carrot out, I noticed one of these. There's something written on the old pedestal. Do you want to read it? Yes. November 30th. Green flourished once more around our village and rich soil began to spread. Vast lands lay open for farming once more. The village folk began to call the visitor a king in appreciation. Our village had long been plagued by a ruffian that ran rampant through the fields, devouring crops as it pleased. But the king, resplendent in its full power, suddenly spoke to us in our tongue, vowing to reign in the ruffian. Ah, so that's about the steed. And, well, Calyrex. Alright, I'll pull the carrot out. I've also got a uh, Toxstrom with me today, <laughs> instead. Sure enough, everyone. She drew carrot. Gotta let everyone come out and walk around. Especially if there's no battles. Well done, human child. That carrot will be the key to luring my loyal steed back to me. Now all I need are my re are the reins of un there. Now all I need are the reins of unity. They will amplify my power, letting me ride my loyal steeds with ease. But I doubt I shall ever get another set from the humans in the village. Horse! Nay! Where's it going? What? Spectria, my loyal steed, is it truly you? That glossy black pelt. That rough violet gallop. Violent, not violet. Yeah. <laughs> it had purple on it. <laughs> it has not changed from the day we first met. Oh, how this brings back memories. Where is it off? It is my belief that while my steeds picked up on the scent of the carrot, it could not determine where the scent was coming from. Judging from the direction it ran off in, it must be heading to the village, in an attempt to pillage carrots there. If that is true, then Freezington is in danger. Human child, we must take haste. Take or make, whatever. Peony floats along, <laughs> helplessly. Calyrex was able to grow a shade carrot from the seeds I planted in the field by the graves. The scent of the carrot lured Spectria out, but it ran off towards Freezington. I mimic you. I'm gonna do uh, my uh, catching thing right now. Yay, mimic you. Um, so I'm going to do a thing. I'm way too powerful. <laughs> level 78. It's only level 62. I don't have a, a helper to catch me. Anything. So, Dusk Ball. It's dark. It'll work. It'll nearly work. Uh, what can I do? I kind of just have to keep trying. It's not like I'm doing the whole episode doing this. That'll work. There we go. It's always the second one. Aha!
Let's go to the village. Oh. I keep looking for the footprints. There's one. I got a few on uh, my travels. There it is. Oh, you. What is happening here? It's looking for carrots. Stop. You have my carrots. <laughs> Give it to me! <laughs> Spectria appears. Toxtrum appears. Hey, we're both purple. <laughs> it's after your shade root carrot. Okay, I've had the handicap of fighting Mimikyu. 75, okay. I actually don't know what level Calyrex was, it was a question mark, but I did one-shot it. I realised that it's grass after I did that. Uh, so, I'm going... You're a ghost, because that's what it said, the shade root. Shade root would, would be. I'll use poison. Boom burst don't do anything. Oh my god. Get jabbed. I like the music. It's uh, different to whatever Calyrex had before. I think we're gonna lose Toxtrum. I'll switch out. I missed like uh, that first Calyrex uh, battle music. It sounded like there was more going on. But uh, I kind of one-shot it after missing. At least I got to hear more of it because I missed. Who hasn't been out? Crow. It's poison, so all I have to do is just sit here. It'll take care of itself. Steel is very strong. And defensive. And it's confused now. Wait, what if I was meant to catch it? It's just going to show up again, I guess. Kind of like uh, Zashian. Oh, cutscene. Okay, we're good. Give me the carrot. Oh. Eek. Crown. Stopped him. She nearly died. These horses are meant to be like violent, apparently, to the stories and whatever people say. Bullies. Are you alright? Yes, I feel like something stepped in to save me. Where do you go? Oh? What have we here? Tuft of black mane hair. It's purple and kind of pinky at the end. Hello, Mayor. Oh, kind visitor. How could I possibly thank you enough for saving the people of this village? I had no idea such a vicious Pokemon still existed in the tundra. Why, it reminded me of that Pokemon in the fairy tale. The loyal steed of the king. Ah, but no doubt I am overthinking things. Hmm. What is that you have there? Is that a tuft of black mane hair? 
In the fairy tales, it is said that by weaving the hair of the loyal steeds together with the radiant bloom grown by the king, it is possible to create the reins of unity which link the king with its steed. In fact, it was my own ancestor who used to weave the, re uh, the reins of unity following an ancient tradition passed down over many years. Of course, I myself have never seen any kind of radiant flower, and the method of making the reins has also been lost to time. In any case, we can't spend all day musing over fairy tales. I must make plans and preparations that Pokemon could well decide to pay us another visit after all. Thank you very much for your help, kind traveller. I gave him more of a voice. What do you think? Oh, there they are. <laughs> Nods back at Calyrex. <laughs> Meet me over here, he nods. <laughs> you know the place. Well then. I'm gonna heal, because uh, you're hurting, aren't you? Nearly got taken out. You have my thanks for protecting the village, human child. Were I at my full power, I could have tamed my steed and reigned its loyalty, regained there. But weakened as I am now, the most I could do was influence its will and make it depart. If only I had the reins of unity, they would have allowed me to tame my steed in short order. Uh, we need a flower. What's that? We can make a set of reins with mane hair from my little steed and a flower? That I can grow? A flower, a flower, yes. But of course, I had assumed that the humans stopped making the reins of unity because they had lost their faith in me. But it was because I lost the power to grow the materials needed. I have spent far too long holding my misguided assumptions, it seems. It has been many centuries since I was able to grow a radiant flower. Doing so drains much of my power, but for whatever, but for whatever reason, a fraction of my power seems to have returned to me just now. There's only one thing to be done: let the radiant flower bloom. He's using his powers again. Oh my God! What? <laughs> the world shakes. A crown blooms. <laughs> Wait, crownius bloomius. Magic. Take this, human child. Thanks. <sighs> it shames me to admit it, but a whole flower is beyond me right now. I do not know if that petal will be enough. But I still must ask that you use it to try to create the reins of unity. The descendants of the family who once made the reins for me should still live in the village. I put my hopes on you, human child. Okay, then can we have the peony back? Okay, we'll, we'll discuss it. Okay. Can't be possessing this man all the time. Hmm. Nick in their leak. <laughs> it's probably the mayor, right? He was talking about it. No one else really believes uh, the fairy tale. Like, they barely said anything. Are you okay down there? Okay. Hello again. Oh, hello again. 
Saviour of our village. Come to do some more reading? Not this time. I beg your pardon? You want me to make a set of reigns of unity? Well, I see. That presents a bit of a problem. If my dear great granddad was still around, he'd have been able to make you a set. But unfortunately, we've no one left who knows the traditional ways at this point. What's more, I doubt you have the flower you'd need to forge a set of the reins. I do have it. I is that a petal from a radiant flower? If so, would that not mean the King of Bountiful Harvest has truly... No, no. I dare not hope. If I recall, my ancestor made reins of unity by following the ways passed down in fairy tales. I sound more like royal than <laughs> I did for Calyrex. <laughs> I was trying to do the voice of it earlier, but... Uh... There were two key materials, a flower and hair from a Pokemon. But I'm afraid those old traditions have long since faded from my memory. Still, how could I refuse a favour to such a kind and helpful guest? The materials, if you please. There you go, sir. I can't promise this will turn out as well as the ones my great-granddad would have made, but... Time to breathe life back into the tradition of my village. Hmm. I'm afraid it hasn't come out well at all. I fancy myself a crafty enough sort, but I suppose it'd take a craftsman of true, delicate technique to make such fine reins. Oh, please don't look so dejected. I'm very sorry. Truly, I am. Peony! You're not possessed. I guess he <laughs> guess Calyrex did let you go when I asked. Oi, Mr. Mayor. Oh god, I forgot his voice. He's been possessed too long. The hot water in the shower seems to have gone on holiday. Ah, yes. Terribly sorry. I'll have a look at it soon. Oh, you're here too, Chief. Were you in the middle of something? The pair of you seem awfully gloomy. Here's what happened. He couldn't do it. What? Is that all? Gahaha. <laughs> so all you need to do is make some nice cord. Pass me those materials, Romo. Alright, got my petal, got my hair. Now what am I supposed to do with them? Hmm. <laughs> If I may be so bold, allow me to share a song that survived from the legends. Hey, I think I read this in the book. Blooms woven round and round, a royal gift in Maine's hair bound. Steady on, old bloke. The song's a bit much. Oh well, that'll do for an answer. Hiya ha ha! All finished. Have a look. Think this'll do. Contains a set of rings of Hyunetae. Yes. You're more capable than your face lets on. These rings of unity are the splitting image of those in the family's tales. Gahahaha. <laughs> I don't sell all my dear rebellious daughter's clothes for nothing, you know. Even the explorer's outfit I gave you was handmade by yours truly, Chief. Ahem. In any case, it seems you've got the reins of unity you need. Isn't that just smashing? Hello, Carving. That was uh, quite something. Back in the cold. How's it going, not being possessed and all? Would you believe it? I caught myself falling asleep outside again. I was, 
I was chilled to the bone, so I thought I'd warm myself up with a good hot shower at our base. But the water coming out was ice cold. I got ultra mega surprise. <laughs> oh my god. I couldn't even read the rest of what he said. I guess that's the way they wanted it to happen. <laughs> Human child, were you able to make the reins of unity? You possessed this man while he was talking to me. Chief Peony did. Indeed, this man has done so much to aid me. I do hope I can repay him sometime. I have some good news of my own. I was finally able to track down my loyal steed. Spectria is making its home in the Crown Shrine. It is a place where my loyal steed and I spent much time together. I had been avoiding the place, as I feared I would get trapped in my own nostalgia. Why has my loyal steed made the shrine its home? Is it reminiscing about our time together? No, it can't be. The crown shrine stands majestically atop the mountain to the north. Ah, the dead tree looking one. Bring the carrot and the reins and meet me there. I shall hasten there now, but you may come when you feel you are ready. I am counting on you, child. Wait, you're taking my peony. I wanted to know about the shower. Using the main hair I got by defeating the Pokemon that was once King's loyal steed along with the Radiant Petal grown by Carolyrex. Kerlilurex itself, I was able to recreate the Reigns of Unity. Now I need to head to the Crown Shrine where the steed's been living to meet up with Kerlilurex. Wow. I tried to do that whole sentence in one breath. I don't think it uh, worked out near the end. I was so close. I'll just leave things off here. Yes, hello, Sonia. I'm uh, coming in here because uh, warmth and uh, I wanted to see Yamper. <laughs> I didn't come here for you. No. <laughs> what? Hmm. Okay. Goodbye. Spin. Look, Yamper. Yeah, I want to show Yamper the spin. Oh, that was quick. Beldum liked it too, I bet. Y you can too, I guess. <laughs>